Hi, Mystery Recapped here. Today, I am going to explain a Russian-American dark fantasy science fiction film called Branded. Spoilers ahead, watch out, and take care. A Russian kid named Misha looks up at the sky and sees stars shifting into a cow-shaped constellation. When the cow looks down at him, Misha wakes up, realizing he was dreaming. Some seconds later, he gets hit by a bolt of lightning and falls unconscious. A crowd gathers around him as a woman examines his body. After a few soft slaps, he regains consciousness, and the woman comments that he will live an interesting life. The scene shifts to 20 years later. Over the years, Misha has proven himself to be a talented marketing executive. He has partnered with an American businessman, Bob Gibbons, and made considerable progress in his career. One day at an awards ceremony, Bob's niece, Abby, introduces herself to Misha. She praises his work and seems to be interested in him. After the ceremony, Bob and Misha are in his office, discussing Abby's presence. Bob wants her to return to America and is annoyed she won't listen to him. He has also sensed a budding relationship between her and Misha, but is strictly against it. Misha promises not to get involved with her, for Bob's sake. Then, we are introduced to a billionaire marketing specialist, Mr. Pascal. He arranges a meeting with fast food company executives on his private Polynesian island. Pascal has a brilliant idea to make their part of the industry more profitable. They plan to change people's perception of beauty and make being fat the new beauty standard. In the following scene, Abby and Misha are on their way to a studio. Abby has invited him because she needs help with the marketing side of a project she is working on. A popular brand is about to broadcast an extreme makeover reality TV show. They plan to recruit an overweight woman with potential and make her undergo surgery. After the procedure, the woman will be slim and will fit into the current beauty standard. The idea has potential, hence Misha takes on the job. But what he doesn't know is that the marketing guru Pascal has an ulterior motive behind funding the project. A flashback shows us how Misha discovered his talent for marketing. A few years ago, shortly after the fall of the Soviet Union, he worked at a shop. He helped the owner with different tactics of marketing that made him a lot of money. However, when Misha asked for a raise, he was kicked out immediately. That is when he met Bob. Initially, he thought Bob was an American spy who wanted him to work against the Russian government. Later, he realized that Bob didn't want info on the government, but the common people. He wanted to form an American-Russian advertising agency, which was only possible with a Russian man's help. And so, Misha's career as a marketer spy began. Over the next 15 years, he designed the first Russian campaigns for a host of Western brands, one of which is a fast food chain called The Burger. It is one of the businesses supported by Pascal. Back in the present, Abby and Misha spend more time together for work. According to Misha, modern marketing was invented by the politician Vladimir Lenin, and communism is the first truly global brand. Impressed by his profound thought, Abby wonders how he is still single. Misha tries his best to refrain from being attracted to her, but he cannot help it. One day, when they are stuck in a long traffic jam, things get steamy. They do not realize the inside of the car is visible through the window and get caught in the act by Bob. He interrupts them and punches Misha in the face for doing something he was exclusively told not to. Starting the next day, the broadcast of the reality TV show begins. They hire a chubby woman named Veronica to be the only contestant. The show instantly becomes a hit as people are eager to see how she looks after the surgeries. One day, before the procedure, Veronica gets cold feet. She sends a video message to Misha and Abby saying she doesn't want to go through the procedure anymore, but she doesn't have the option to back out this far into the game. The surgery goes well, much to Misha and Abby's delight. They celebrate by dancing and drinking, hoping to see a new Veronica tomorrow. However, the next day, they get horrible news. Veronica never came out of anesthesia and has fallen into a coma. Abby panics and blames herself for the mishap. They treated a woman like a play doll and are facing the consequences. The media and the public who had been following the show closely are enraged. In the moment of emergency, Misha becomes the scapegoat for the company. He and Abby are arrested for fraud and thrown into jail. 
It is then revealed that the failed show was all a part of Pascal's plan. He wanted to change the beauty standard to fat. Hence, he showed people the disadvantages of trying to be thin and created an environment of mass hysteria. The panic is so intense that people start believing they are doing something wrong by always trying to lose weight. A week later, Misha is being bailed out by Bob. In turn for the bail, Abby is made to go back to the US and never see Misha again. After getting out, Misha immediately calls her, but she is already at the airport terminal. Following that, he goes to meet Bob and accuses him of planning the failure of the show. In another flashback, we see Misha writing his first report as a marketer. He chooses his former boss to be his first subject. In the report, he paints him as a drug dealer and a con man. Misha thought it was just for analytics, but it wasn't. The news was published, which eventually caused the man to be killed by the protesting public. After the casualty, Misha went to the remains of the shop and saw what his story had done to it. At that moment, he realized that with the power of marketing, he could not only build a brand, but change the entire world. He thinks Bob was behind the unsuccessful surgery, which he planned to separate Abby and himself. However, Bob laughs at the absurdity, claiming he doesn't have time and money to spend on something so worthless. They go out to a bar, where the two get into an altercation yet again. Suddenly, Bob has a heart failure that kills him instantly. Misha is left all alone, with no will to return to the business. After Bob's death, Misha disappeared. Six years later, Abby returns to Russia and starts looking for him. Following the leads one after another, she ends up on a farm and finds Misha working as a shepherd in the middle of nowhere. He doesn't want to return to the city because his job has always harmed people. First, his former boss, then Veronica. Abby, who still loves him, decides to stay with him for a few days. One night, Misha dreams of the same cow that he had seen years ago. The animal describes a ritual to every minute detail and asks Misha to perform it. Even after waking up, he remembers everything he was told in the dream. The details are so clear to him that he blindly builds a structure out of wood. Then he brings one of his red cows to the structure and sacrifices it for the ritual. The next morning, he bathes in the cow's ashes and completes it, but by the end, he falls unconscious due to exhaustion. Over the years that he was on hiatus, the world has changed drastically. Fast food chains have taken over Russia, and being fat has become the new fabulous. Oversized models, toys, superheroes, and actors are the ones winning in society. The burger restaurant especially has reached the highest form of success and has made the public addicted to its products. After finding Misha unconscious on the field, Abby brings him back to Moscow. He is glad that she helped him, but is in bad condition. He sees a creature by Abby's head that is only visible to him. At home, Misha is met with another surprise when he is told that he fathered a baby six years ago. His name is Robert, and he is also addicted to fast food. Misha sees several creatures tagging from Robert's neck, but doesn't tell Abby. An entire day passes, but his hallucination doesn't go away. The next afternoon, the family goes on a walk. Misha notices that the creature tagging along with Robert is the symbol of the burger company. The company's branch has a massive creature on top of it that feeds off of its customer. Similarly, every company has its own tag that is manipulating people into buying things from them. It turns out that after the ritual, Misha was given a unique power to see how the public is being manipulated. For the next few days, everything goes well. Abby, Robert, and Misha live like a happy family, but Misha knows that he cannot let his son be manipulated alongside millions of innocent people. One day, he loses his cool and starts breaking things at the house. Abby catches him in the act and flies back to America with Robert. She also leaves Misha a message asking him to be gone when they return from the trip. When left alone with no hope, Misha joins a creative advertising company, this time with the motive to end what the brand started. As a first step, he arranges a meeting with Chinese businessmen looking to establish a vegetarian restaurant chain, Dim Song. He bluntly tells them that the idea won't work because people are obsessed with hamburgers at the moment, but he also suggests an alternative way to market the product, that is to destroy the competition. They spread the news that meat in burgers is not safe. With the recent new disease going around, people are quick to believe it. The company then advertises their new product called the Meat Tester. 
It is a device that checks the quality of meat instantly, but the politicians who are used to profiting off of the restaurants do not allow the campaign to flourish. The health minister even eats a hamburger on live television to show people that it is safe. The Chinese businessmen go into a huge loss, but Misha is satisfied with the results of the project. Then, the same week, the health minister dies from an unknown cause. People instantly assume it's because of the burger he ate when they start to panic and look for a healthier alternative to burgers. Several dim song restaurants are built in the city. Just when Misha thinks he won, he notices dim song's tag getting bigger. He realizes that as long as people can advertise, they will continue to manipulate the public. Soon, Dim Song gets so big that its tag forms an egg. It hatches, giving birth to a dragon-like flying creature. The creature attacks the burger's tag and eats it, indicating the company's downfall. The next day, it is revealed that the burger's stocks have taken a plunge. Pascal holds another meeting with the CEOs of the food chains he supported. He tells them that he can do nothing about the companies because they are too far gone. Suddenly, a bolt of lightning strikes him, making him disappear. Within a month or two, all the brands that Pascal supported go bankrupt. This also gives rise to an unexpected outcome. People all around the globe have started protesting to ban advertisements of all kinds. Abby and Robert watch the news and see Misha on it. He is asked by the reporter what he thinks will be the president's decision, but he doesn't give them a definite answer. Later that day, Misha is alone in his office, sending Abby a voicemail and asking for forgiveness. Suddenly, she appears in front of him. At the same time, a group of protesters barge into the advertisement office and start attacking the employees. The couple tries to run away, but Misha is caught and beaten. Even though he also supports the idea of banning advertisements, he is about to be killed when the protesters are informed that the president has agreed to do as they say. Over the next few days, every billboard from the streets of Moscow is removed. Misha wakes up in a hospital bed with Abby and his son by his side. At the same time, Veronica, who had been in a coma for almost seven years, also wakes up. The movie ends as she wanders into the streets to see a skyline free of billboards. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.